Where did he go? Oh shit! What an asshole! Really? Is there some way that he can get around? Because he seemed to come from behind me. Get the fuck out of my game, you little bitch. Wondrous Lever. Hell yeah. So we're about to get the shortcut. I really like this. I really like it a lot. So... Pull the lever. Yeah, he did! Oh my god, I could have skipped all this fucking shit after I killed him. I op He opened the goddamn shortcut for me. That piece of shit went all the fucking way... He went all the way up. I mean, admittedly, for him, it probably wasn't that difficult because he wasn't getting uh, molested. But, oh my god. What a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. And he's still fucking lost. Ugh. I mean, holy shit. What a piece of shit. So actually, if you'll look, that uh, over there, that's the, uh, that's the bridge we came from. Uh... That's the start of the level over there. And there's a cliff down here that you can uh, walk along. So he went, he came down this elevator, went along this cliff, across that bridge, and up the fucking path in order to fucking try and get that backstab on me. And he still didn't make it. What a goddamn scrub. Okay, that was a really unnecessarily long thing. Anyway. So these guys, these guys are fun. Um, they will only aggro on you under certain conditions. Beast blood palette, what a useless piece of shit. Okay, so I'm just gonna take them out now while they're not aggro. These things are really fucking creepy. They're like little, uh, they're like little stone kids. Anyway, yeah, if you go down a certain set of stairs, these guys will all fucking aggro on you. So it's nice to just, uh, take them out while they're not mean, while they're not mad. Especially as you might surmise from the fact that I equipped some antidote. Uh, as you might surmise from that, the, uh, there's poison down there. There's enemies with poison. It's, a, uh, It's fast poison. Uh, which we have actually... Cold Blood do one. What the fuck? Uh, we actually have encountered a little bit of fast poison in, uh, Nightmare Frontier before. From the, uh, poison dudes. But it's nice to just, uh, take these little guys out. Uh, one by one while they're not aggroed. And then just, you know... Oh fuck, he's aggro. I don't know if they're blind or what, it's weird. But I do know once you go down those stairs, they will fucking all aggro on you, so... They're kinda like the, um... Whatchamacallit, they're like the, uh, the Widows or whatever. Uh, down there. It's a blue elixir. That could actually come in handy in this area. They're like the Widows in Kanehurst Castle, where they kind of have a limited aggro range until certain conditions are met. Um, and then they, and then they, and then they like to fuck your shit up. So we can see there's one last one over here, and he's actually going to aggro on us, so we're just going to... And there's the fast poison enemy. Okay, so we're just going to... Oh shit. Yeah. 
So yeah, a single uh, repost is not going to take care of that. Those, uh, I don't know. I think they're like mothers, butchers, something. I don't know. They're, uh, it's a creepy place here. I'm going to put my hand lantern on, get a little bit of light. So stealth is definitely a viable tactic in this area. <clears throat> definitely a viable tactic. Uh, you also want to be careful about dodging around too much because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bottomless pits. It's great. What does this say? Oh, darkness. Yay. Okay. So we're just gonna come around here. You asshole. Okay, we've now taken him out. And this is the part where you have to be extremely careful because there are little crossbow men. And there's also the mama over there. And the mama will see you before you can score the backstab on one of these crossbowmen. So... Running! Running, running, running. Running. Running, running. We're just gonna run. Because these guys can't fuck you up. Come back here and let the aggro drop if we can. And now it's going to be much easier. Because now we only have one little crossbow motherfucker to deal with. So long as we don't fall down the gap. Also, ha! Huh, it turned around. So, uh,. Yeah, we're just gonna stab it. Yeah, come around here. Do not fall down the pit. Do not fall down the pit. Get some lead elixir. Pretty sure all these assholes have like they're like the source of lead elixir or something. I don't know. It's weird. They're uh, weird, creepy fucks, but. Uh, Nothing but ratings here. Holy shit. You're not kidding. You, you are not, you're not wrong. Okay, so this is an elevator that we are going to take up. Um, yeah. So, we're now in Marigo's Loft. And uh, we'll take this elevator up. Whew. Okay. So, now we're up here, and um, I think there's another shortcut very shortly. There's shortly a shortcut. So this is uh, an interesting place. Oh, 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 I'm not paying attention, I'm being dumb. So, if you'll notice, that's a, that's a crow with a dog head. Yeah, yep, there's crow with dogs head, crows with dogs heads. And dogs with, uh, yeah, so, you know. Dogs with crow heads, crows with dog heads, or, uh, yeah, so, as you can see there. But, you know, it's a nightmare, so kind of expected, kind of anticipated. I don't, uh, I'm not sure how you get in that cage. I've tried. I've tried to get in that cage. And I don't know how. Yo, what up? What up, homie? I know there's a way... There's gotta be a way to get in that cage, right? So... Let's do this. I got it! Temper and Damp Blood Gem 5, sweet. <gasps> Nailed it! That, uh... Sounds like it's a really sweet Blood Gem, actually. Okay! Important! This bit is important. Shortcut. More shortcut elevators. So now we can bypass that whole bit with the poison bit. Just gonna... 
descend, and you'll notice this takes us straight back to the land. Yep. So we're just gonna ah, and then ah. That's why there are levers here. So there's a lever right there to let you bring this uh, bring this elevator down. And that's a shortcut right there that lets you skip everything we just did. They're very generous with the shortcuts here because, you know, I mean, invasions and all that jazz. And die. R1 spam for the win. Get another bloodstone chunk. Sweet. Get some kin cold blood. Yeah, all these cages hanging around. With the uh, very, very disturbing creatures in them. So, yeah, now we've done that. Open that shortcut. And. Oh, shit, we are almost to the boss. Fucking hell. I'm just gonna go over here. Um. So, this guy's an interesting boss. Wow, I did not, I forgot how quickly you can actually get to this boss. I really did. I forgot how quickly you can get to this boss. And then there are these guys, which are interesting. These guys are actually much better to deal with with power weapons than, uh... They don't appear to give you any regain either, that's weird. Ha! Ah, someone needed summons for this fight? Holy shit. Okay, so, boss time. Oh, definitely need antidote, definitely want sedative, I think. Um. Hmm. Might as well, right? Throw some bolt paper just in case. So, here we go. Ah, Cosmos. Or some say Cosmos. Do you hear our prayers? Ah, we shall not abandon the dream. No one can catch us. No one can stop us now. Mikolaj, the host of the Nightmare, who wears the Bergenworth set, right? He wears the Bergenworth set, or the uh, student set, and uh, and that nice little cage. They've changed those guys since the last time I fought him. Oops. Ah. Ow! I dodged right into that. Okay, so, seems like a really easy boss, right? Huh. Oh, majestic! Hunter is a hunter, even in a dream. So now we have to find him. Alas, not too fast. And there's 
these crossbow assholes. As you can tell, the main threat here is primarily the ads. They're fun. So now we see him. And there's that. <sighs> now we need to head back up to the top. And we're just going to ignore all these enemies because they're really... It's really pointless to fight them. So we head back up to the top. We need to get to the very top. Head over here. Then drop down. Let's play to mercy this asshole. Shit! God damn it! Well, I actually died to him that time. Okay, and now we're really glad we opened that shortcut. So. Um, yeah, the first time I fought Mik Mikolash, he was, uh, he was glitched, and, uh, so I didn't get the actual experience of the fight. I tried to stun lock him, but he'd already uh, he'd already gotten far enough in Call Beyond that I couldn't stun lock him, which was unfortunate. But fortunately, we are right here, so we just run through, hit the fog gate, and we're good to go. Yeah, the first time I fought him, he was glitched with the uh, twelve-hour glitch. Which uh, was unfortunate. Because I didn't really get an actual fight with him. goes. Oh shit, oh my. Oops. Yeah, it's a bit of a maze. It's kind of the point of the boss fight. It's a, it's a, it's a maze and a puzzle. It's, uh, that's the way it works.
Okay, that cannot be interrupted. Much better boss fight. Now I'm waking up. I'll forget everything. And we get the Mensis Cage for defeating him. Now we can explore this uh, area. Um, I'm not sure if the enemies despawn when you kill them. I guess we're going to find out. But uh, we can explore this area now and grab the items. That's alright. Yeah, that was much more satisfying than uh, the first time I fought him. Because obviously the first time I fought him, like I said, I was glitched out. And uh, it's kind of disappointing. It was like he didn't, he wasn't using his spells. He was only punching uh, and, yeah. Can Cold Blood... It looks like the ads, uh, the ads died with him. So that's cool. Uh, you can never be too careful. The Iron Door Key, interesting. That clearly opens something. I never got that before. Um, or I didn't get that in my first playthrough, I don't think. But, uh, should open something. Not sure what it opens. But it will open something. Okay, uh... Yeah, this is the room I fought him in, okay. Okay, make sure I go and get everything. It looks like all the enemies died with him. So they're part of the boss fight. If you'll notice, there are eyes spiderwebbed all over the walls. That's, uh, yeah. Because the whole point of the Nightmare Immensus is to acquire eyes. Um, but interesting, interesting thing to note about Mikolash is that, um, he is wearing the, uh, the student set along with the Mensis cage, which, uh, if we look at the description, I haven't actually looked at the description in a while, so I might as well look at the description right now. If we look at the description... The school of Mensis controls the Unseen Village. This hexagonal iron cage suggests their strange ways. The cage is a device that restrains the will of the self, allowing one to see the profane world for what it is. It also serves as an antenna that facilitates contact with the Great Ones of the Dream. But to an observer, the iron cage appears to be precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. And that's some important text there. <laughs> Precisely what delivered them to their harrowing nightmare. If you'll remember how we got here, we touched a guy. We touched a mummy. Yeah, okay, so you'll notice these these eyeballs are they're they're spiders. They're spiders with eyeballs. But they're also plants. It's really weird. It's super weird and super creepy. So this is the way up. 
And then this is, okay, this is the way that I'm looking for to get the items. This is the way down. Okay, these motherfuckers are still here. I'll try to sneak up on this one. Not too difficult. Dirty damp blood gem. That's a super good poison blood gem. Uh, eight blood vials. That's nice. So we need to look out for those assholes. And down on this level, um, yeah, that's a dirty damp blood gem. Is a uh, fast poison blood gem. Okay, over here. So all the corpses, um, but not the creepy lead elixir enemies. Alright, I think this is the first room that we fight him in. Yeah. We have a lot of blood echoes now. And as long as we're in this area, we can't be invaded because we've defeated the boss. So, since we've defeated the boss of this area, we can't be invaded here. That's the first staircase we go up. Oh, look! The guys outside the boss door still live, though. So. And these guys, interestingly enough, do not allow you to regain from them. If you noticed, when I killed them, I did not get any regain. When I hit them, I did not get any regain, despite the fact that I was hitting them with a melee weapon, and I was definitely in the regain window. So, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I suppose there's some more significance there, since these guys are... Like, body parts put together and animated, which... Um, if you remember my thoughts on The One Reborn, that... Um, these are basically the same, except just smaller on a smaller scale. Let's let's take a look at them and see what we see. Yeah. So, not creepy at all. Not one bit. Just, uh, you know, just everything's really, really nice here. Everything about this place is super nice and I like it and it's great. There's nothing here that is disturbing at all. Oh, shit! There's a fucking, uh... There's Nymph! <sighs> and there's... More of these guys, okay. Bloodstone Chunk, fuck yeah. Yeah, you can't stagger him too well. Ah, oh, shit. Bad place to use that. It's all good. I got some sedative. That's nice. Down here, I believe, is one of the larger ones. So we're just gonna creep up. Could use the blue elixir for this, but what else? Okay, it's a crossbowman in one of the larger ones. That's fantastic. You know what? Oh shit! that bolt paper was enough to give me the one shot kill on that. Drop anything? Drop anything? No. Asshole. Oh, well that used some resources, didn't it? I 
I'd say the bolt paper was worth the one shot kill on that one. And we get a moon rune. So improving our blood echoes. Our, uh, yeah, blood echo harvesting. So that's the bottom. Man, this, uh, this place is, uh, yeah, not creepy at all. Just, uh, just really nice. Great internal decor. Um, now there's some question as to whether this is built by Mensis or is using some Thumerian architecture. If you've, if you've watched or played the Chalice Dungeons, you know about the Thumerians. And I have some question whether this is Thumerian or Mensis because of some certain things. Um... Like, did, did the school of... Is this, in fact, the literal, if you will, the, the, the literal school? Is this the school that is referred to by the school of Mensis? Like, Mensis, I'm pretty sure, is a person, is the founder of the school of Mensis. But is this, in fact, the school? Because it's a... This is a fucking library. Did the school of Mensis become Mergo's Loft when the Nightmare was created? Um, that's, uh, that's sort of my question. So now I'm going to go and grab this lamp really quick before someone invades me. Uh, yeah, just going to grab the lamp and uh, GTFO. Because I want to get these Blood Echoes disposed of. Alright, now that we've... Uh, done our repairs and whatnot. Let's go and level up. Level up, level up, level up. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me stand close. Now shut your eyes. Okay, I can level up Three times, sweet. Um, so I'm gonna get two in arcane because I can level up three times, and that's going to give me the capability to use the old hunter bone, which is super sweet. And then one in skill to increase my damage even further. So that's one, two. Yeah, alright. And that's gonna take almost all my blood echoes, that's cool. Alright. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Now, I'm going to equip my old hunter's bone. because I really want to test it out. And then I can also use the empty phantasm shell now. That's pretty cool. All right, and now, so that I'm not using any, uh, any bullets, for about a minute or not very long at all but uh, super cool super cool PvP item so it uses six bullets but uh, come on who cares right and then uh, hmm What else can I use now? I can use the empty phantasm shell and the beast roll. So I can arcane buff my weapon for three bullets, old hunter bone for six. Not quite up to Agra Ebritas level yet. And then two bullets for that. Oh. Yep. I need to grab some pebbles. We're nearing the end, my friends. 
very close to the end. Very close to the end. Except for some chalice dungeon stuff. So. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Later, Internet.